Hey guys, it's Simon Sound here. I'm going to be doing a review on Call of Duty 2. Um, here's the game. Um, that's okay, guys. Don't worry. No, I'm going to have to restart, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, hey guys, it's Simon Sound here. I'm going to be doing a review on Call of Duty 2. Oh, uh, here's the box. The back. Um,. It's a one through four player game. Um, online, it can be two to eight people. You can do system link on it. Um, it's rated T, blood, mild language, and violence. But I don't think it's that bad. Um, here's the game. The um, manual here. There's no color, it's all black and white. Um, it'll give, like, if you need any help, it'll tell you how to play the game, or, like, we'll give, like, examples and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be showing you um, some gameplay, and, like, I'm gonna rate it and all that. Alright. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna be showing you like a multiplayer game and like show you like what's good about it and what's kind of bad about it. Alright, you can do Xbox Live, split screen, system link, like if you want to like customize it like how you want it or if you just want to play by yourself. But I'll do an Xbox Live game for you. What's good about it, you can like choose if you want to do like just a regular match or ranked. Or if you like want to play like a private match. Or if you want to like, like set your, how you want to play your maps. Like you can customize it or like do whatever you want with it. Alright, um, let's do a quick match for you. The only thing bad about it is right now, like it's really hard to find like a good map. Or match because like not many people play it no more because a lot of other people play like other Call of Duty games but you'll find some people still as you another bad part is like you can't see like what rank you you're in or like you can't really prestige or like level up you just like get all the guns at first. It will show you like the host, I guess that's pretty nice, you know. See who has like the good or bad connection. Um they like pick random maps, I guess. It's pretty nice too. But it takes a while to load up the game. We're playing Capture Flag in Burgundy, France. Well, you can play as an American, German, or you can just spectate it. I guess I'll play as an American. They got like pretty nice guns. I'll use the Thompson. Let's make it higher sensitivity. Alright, um these pistols are pretty good, I guess I'll show you. With the Thompson as well. You can't sp sprint, which in all Call of Duty games you should be able to do because that's what everyone needs to be able to do. Because I think if you just keep playing like this, it's too slow. In my opinion, that's very bad part of this game. Um, other parts is... Well, they have like a compass as a um, radar, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, 
to see what these people are. Grenade them up. Let's get that kill. I don't like this gun that much, so I'm sorry if I'm doing bad. Alright, we stun him. Oh. I no idea how he killed me there. Let's see this. Alright, I guess that was pretty nice. Kill. Let's use a different gun. Um, the M1A1. In my opinion, these guns are not good at all. Compared to other Call of Duties. But I gotta say, this is like... Out of all the other Call of Duty games, I would give this one like... I would rate it like a 6 out of 10. Because you can't sprint or I don't think the weapons are that good. Um, and you can't really find a good game, but it's still a good Call of Duty game because it's the second Call of Duty game they ever made, which is not that bad. The graphics are kind of bad, but not the worst. I can't find no one right now. Because there's only four, two people on the other team. That might be a reason as well. This is not... I'm doing really bad because I barely ever play this. Um, it takes a while to respawn. Um, let's see what else. With the guns, as you can see, like, you like, it has too much recoil on every gun. I cannot even get a kill. Oh wow, that was my teammate. Where, oh, oh, they're right behind us. But yeah, that's basically, I'm gonna have to, like, this spawning, it takes too long, in my opinion, as well. I'm gonna have to leave the game because, yeah. But I'm gonna show you, like, like show you some maps. My favorite map in this game would have to be, what is it called? Where is it? All right, right here. The I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's the two giant and terrain stuff. Yeah, I'll show you like a preview of it. But yeah, basically you can pick the map you want to play on. I really like that. And like what type of game type. Like I kind of like it because like if you don't want to like play one map or you don't like it, you don't have to play it. And if you like a map and you want to play that one only, you can do that. But like I said, there's not many people playing. You're gonna have to like wait a very long time to get into a game. But yeah, that's basically my review on Call of Duty 2. And I rate it a 6 out of 10 because you can't sprint or like the graphics are not the best. Um, not many people are playing it because there's all the Call of Duty games. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, that's basically it. 6 out of 10, not bad for the second Call of Duty game. But yeah, that's my review. 